What's going on guys? Welcome back to another match day vlog, the first home one of the season. We uh, got off to a bad start last week at Coventry. We had a good 45 minutes of football and then it just went to shit in the second half. And we ended up losing. We had a decent win midweek against Bradford. Um, but this is the first home league game that we've had since, what? Was it like the 22nd of March last year? Something like that. And we got stuffed 3-0 that day by Matt Smith Hattrick. So hopefully today goes a bit better. I can't see it going better. Um, Bournemouth are coming coming to win because they got that draw on the opening day against West Brom where they, they played decent, nothing amazing but they should still be putting teams like us away especially with defensive injuries at the minute as well so I'm going to go for a either 1-1 one, one or 2-1 Bournemouth Claire what are you saying? I'm going 2-1 Forest win. Oh, positive. I like it. Um, but yeah, team news will be out in the next 15 minutes or so. So hopefully we um, put a decent team out. See Zinc and Argo maybe starting today. I, can't, I doubt Carvalho will start. You'll probably keep him on the bench. But um, looking forward to it. see I am uh, back in the car again to uh, end the video but that performance I've uh, this is the morning after that I'm recording this so I've uh, had a think about the game and things like that and for the first I don't know, 15 20 25 minutes we we looked a really 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 good side that had a good temper to us high uh, we, we pressed them high trapped them in kind of one free kicks that they shouldn't be giving away but we they only gave away because of the pressure was creating on them and uh, it looked really good and then david brooks goes and and scores that goal and it just it killed us a bit in that first half we we got the tempo up a little bit but it killed us we then needed to start very strongly in the second just to get anything out of the game luckily we did free kick mckenna flicked it into the net um and then 
I don't know what happened with that second goal. I need to see it again. I've just not looked at any highlights. Um, but I believe, from what I've seen with my own eyes, it was Samba's fault. And you've really got to stop messing up soon because he, obviously any goalkeeper in the world can, doesn't matter what standard or level you're at, you can make mistakes, you can lose games. It, it's part and parcel of the game. You're, you're, In my opinion, the goalkeeper position is the hardest position on the pitch because it's on you whether a goal goes in or not, simple as. And um, listen, it went in. He's, a, he's been a good keeper for us. But I think if it does continue as making silly mistakes, then we put Ethan Horvath in to uh, see how he goes in the league and it, it could give Samba a kick up the bum um, I can't see it like but we, we can hope um, Hewen is starting to wear on me a bit with the tactics and things like that like they had a man sent off why would you keep two old midfielders on the pitch um, when they're down to 10 men when you've got the likes of Graben, Maita and Carvalho all on the bench which are, why but I don't know I see uh, how long it takes for Forrest to um, give it a long, hard look at Hewton and, um, and make a decision because Sabri, if you remember, last season, we started the first four games without a win. It was four losses on the spin. Well, if you're looking at that track record, then Hewton on Wednesday night, if he loses, and then Saturday loses, that's four win uh, four losses on the spin, sorry. So, he's... Uh, if that's how the owners and the, the directors and things look at things, then he's, he's not going to be he's far off of a, off of a sacking. But I, listen, at the time last year where we was, where Sabri got sacked, I think he was the perfect manager to be brought in for a bit of stability, keep us in the league, do nothing amazing with the squad or anything, just keep it as it is. And uh, I think he did well with us. Listen, we, we got some decent results last year. Everyone knows where we finished. It was a... Uh, a bit of a shit season overall, but is what it is. Um, but if there was to, another manager to uh, come in, I don't personally. I don't know who who would come to us. And I've got someone in mind that I would love to come to us, and that's uh, Eddie Howe. I think what he did at Bournemouth with no transfer budget and just very very minimal um, quality at plays at the plays at the start. He did very well, and then he obviously managed to get him in the Premier League, keep him in the Premier League. The, the money came a bit. He's still nothing special. So um, if he can do that with that group of players, hopefully he can uh, do it with our group of players. He has a like a nice, positive style of play, holding the ball, things like that. It's just I'd, I'd like him in, but I can't see him coming. I can't see his touchings, to be fair. But if Hewton wants to get sacked, I'm going to leave this in the uh, thingy down below. If you must get sacked, who would your replacement be? Not if you think they'd come or not. Who, If you was Maranakis or anybody high up at the club who makes them decisions, who would you sign as manager to replace Hewton? Uh, drop it in the comments below. But yeah, until the Blackburn game on Wednesday night, you'll see the explicit highlights out either today or tomorrow. Uh, I know you're, you're liking them videos, but yeah. Drop the video a like. Comment who you would... Um, like Hewton to be replaced with if he does get the sack in the near future. And until then, see ya.